now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, The Beauty Myth. Learn the beauty secrets of the goddess next door in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, The Beauty Myth at online booksellers everywhere today. Over the weekend, Tessica Brown decided to use Gorilla Glue, one of the brands of super glue out there, as a hair glue and decided to use this to be able to spray on her head to secure a hairstyle she had put together. And as a result of using Gorilla Glue as a hair glue, she wound up with her hair permanently bonded to her scalp. Now, when I take a critical examination of Tessica Brown's actions, they clearly are a textbook example of what it means to be when you play stupid games, you win effed up prizes. And your Tessica Brown wanted to go and get a shortcut to hair glue, and when she did this, she wound up winning the effed up prize of having her hair permanently attached to her head. Now, your Tessica Brown wants us to believe that she's a victim, but she is no victim at all because it clearly states on the can of soup of Gorilla Glue spray adhesive that this product clearly bonds to skin and to be careful while using it. And I've seen that label warning about super glue because as an action figure customizer, I've seen it on the label of numerous packages of products I've bought, such as Crazy Glue and Gorilla Glue, over the course of my over 30 years of toy collecting, and I always adhere to that warning because I know for a fact that your Crazy Glues do bond to skin, and on one customizing website I was on, the one of the guys who were doing the customs at the time, he stated that Crazy Glue was originally invented to be able to suture wounds during the Vietnam War in fields of combat. So this crazy glue has always been designed to bond to skin. Unfortunately, this Tessica Brown really did not want to heed the warning as related to the product because she wanted to get a shortcut to get a slick hairstyle done and she wanted to try to think she could maintain that hairstyle for an extended period of time and because she wanted to take a shortcut as related to her hair what she did was thinking that oh I'll spray this super glue gorilla glue on my head and eventually what it will do is it'll probably wash out because your super glues usually some of them they will wash out if they're still wet with cold water or they will wear down over time. However, what happened here with your Tessica Brown is she probably put on a very heavy layer of super glue on her head and as a result, this, this whole Gorilla Glue wound up adhering to her head and because it's porous, probably started bonding all the way to the scalp. And that's probably what happened here with your Tessica Brown. And again, she wants us to believe that she's a victim, but she's not a victim because she made a choice to go out here and do something stupid and then didn't want to understand that, again, when you play stupid games, you win effed up prizes. And the effed up prize that she won as related to putting super glue on your hair is you wind up with a rock hard head full of hair and she wanted to go out here and think that oh that well we can use some super glue remover or something like that and it will help but it's not going to help because again this stuff is porous and it's going all the way down into the scalp and when I look at this whole incident it just shows me again this is what happens when you when low IQ low information people get out here and hear about certain products they don't really understand that certain products are for certain purposes and they think that they can use it for another purpose not understanding that there are consequences to your actions and for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction 
But what's even more troubling about this whole case is the fact that we have some simp lawyer out here and he thinks that he can sue the Gorilla Group Corporation for some sort of damages. However, there are no damages that the Tessica Brown can sue for because in this case, it's clearly stated on the packaging of every Gorilla Glue product and every Super Glue product I have ever worked with when I was out here customizing figures and even repairing broken action figures that this product permanently bonds to skin and this product should be used very carefully when you're out here using it. I mean, I have packages of super glue i think i have one here somewhere and this is a bottle of jb super weld and it says right here on the product that this product is bonds skin and eyes instantly it says it right here on the package of jb super weld i don't know if you can see it if we can focus but it says bonds skin and eyes instantly so this is on the pack of JB's Super Weld, which is a very, very intense super glue. I mean, this stuff, it holds like a rock. And it's basically the same formula as Gorilla Glue. So your, so your Tessica Brown, she can sit there and talk about all of the legal claims she wants to make. But that case is going to get thrown out of court because it says it right here. Now, when I look at this case... From another critical perspective, it really reminds me a lot of how we're not really doing a good job of educating young people to become responsible adults. Because this is something that I learned back in my teen years when one of my when my original Voltron vehicle team deluxe, like you see in the back back there, it had broken and the leg had broken off it, and my mother went out here and got me some crazy glue. And I remember at being about 11, 12 years old when I got this Voltron, because I got this Voltron back when I was 11 years old, and what happened was the legs joint got, a little, got loose, and I remember her getting the super glue to glue it back together, and it set it on the package, bonds, skin, instantly. So if an 11-year-old can know the dangers of these glues, then I'm wondering what's happened over the last 30 years with these kids out here is it that we're getting a lot of low IQ, low information children, or are they just not being taught at home? That's a critical question I have to ask because I'm seeing a lot of kids out there, a lot of young people out there doing incredibly stupid things. Like I've seen this whole trend of people pouring 91% alcohol or 70% alcohol on themselves and lighting themselves on fire to get views on YouTube. And when I look at that, I go, Here's another case of play stupid games, win effed up prizes, and these people not understanding for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction because on a bottle of alcohol it says flammable. But you can't explain that to the low IQ, low information crowd who don't really read these products and understand these products say flammable and bonds to skin and eyes instantly. I mean, these are right here on the product, but many of these people, they don't seem to have the critical thinking skills to really understand the consequences as related to their actions. And that's what I'm seeing right here in the case of your Tessica Brown, who is sitting here making it, trying to make it look like she's a victim, but you're not a victim when you go out here and again, you play stupid games and you win the effed up prize. If you go out here and make these bad choices, you are not a victim. And as I see it, you know, you just learn a hard lesson because that's what a lot of people who go out here and go out here and try to take these shortcuts and try to call themselves trying to cheap out because what she was probably trying to do is think, oh, this hair glue is going to cost a lot of money, so I'm going to use this super glue as a replacement, and then it'll probably wash out after a couple of days, and what happened was she didn't understand the chemical formula of super glue and how it pours throughout the head, and it pours deeper into the scalp. 
So we have, again, another case of a low IQ, low information black person, and one really just focused on her looks and not really one who learned anything about being a critical thinker. And she's going to learn a hard lesson about, you know, taking a shortcut and trying to go do things the easy way. Because when you go out here and try to do things the easy way, you wind up with a hard consequence. And this Tessica Brown is going to wind up with a very hard consequence. And sadly, because we have a whole lot of simp and beta male enablers trying to give her a pass, it looks like the lesson sadly isn't going to stick. And it's not going to stick because of these enablers talking about, oh, you can sue the Gorilla Glue Company, but the Gorilla Glue Company is not liable for this woman's bad decisions. No, she's responsible for her bad decision because she was the one who decided to misuse and abuse their product. And no company is liable if you go out here and abuse their product or their services. Again, just like what I talk about as related to the cell phone in many of my Protect Black Women videos, if you own a cell phone and you open up the case, then you void the warranty that you have with the company. And what your Tessica Brown did when she used the soup, used Gorilla Glue on her hair was she voided the warranty between herself and the Gorilla Glue company as related to liability because the company is not liable if you misuse their product when you misuse their product and abuse their product and go outside of the uses that are placed on the packaging then they are not liable no that's on you and you learn the hard way and this woman is going to learn the hardest way because it seems like the lesson has not stuck and sadly, because of all of the simp and beta male enablers, this woman will never learn a hard lesson as related to the game of playing stupid games and winning an effed up prize. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my SJS Direct publications, like the Isis series, the E-Steam series, the John Haynes series, or the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, you can find all of those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them on Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Spinsterella. Discover the dark side of love in this goth and lovely romance with Spinsterella. Get Spinsterella in paperback and e-readers at your favorite online bookseller today.